he basically moved to a different beat. And he was sticking two fingers up. Later, James don't like us. Of course, being a fiercely proud Welsh club that plays mainly English opposition gives things well, an edge. An edge that hasn't exactly ingratiated us to the populace of England's green and pleasant land. And of course, there's been the odd spicy encounter with Pompey. <laughs> But well, that was a facet of football throughout the 80s. There was an undercurrent of violence that pervaded grounds up and down the land, and to be honest, we were good at it. After all, South Wales is a pretty hard place. You were representing yourselves and the place where you came from. Every town and village, every valley will have sent a bus to Wembley today. The Ronda, Rumney, Aberdeer, Pontypridd. You just look at the names on the flags next to CCFC or the Bluebirds. Football has the ability to bring the whole of South Wales uniquely together like nothing else can. Look, we're not a glamorous club by any means. We're a million miles and countless millions of pounds away from the so-called Big Four. But I'm glad we are, frankly. I don't understand the mentality of those who boast their support of clubs that they live 200 miles away from and have no emotional connection to. They get their kicks from their armchair in front of satellite TV. They will never experience the elation that I felt after our semi-final victory. What I experience is real, for better or worse. I'm part of it. Do Man U fans feel the highs as much because they've never felt the lows? I don't think so. Because there really have been some lows watching the city. We've been down amongst the dead men of the Football League. And it wasn't that long ago either. That's the nature of supporting our club. We're never far away from the next crisis. Indeed, even this season, we're on the brink of administration. And we still have a massive debt. One game at a time, as the old cliche goes. You just get on with it. Much like the players, really. And get on with it they have. Cardiff City in the FA Cup final. Sounds brilliant, that, doesn't it? Because I can't stop saying it. As a kid, I used to watch the build-up to the cup final in my pyjamas. You didn't have time to get dressed because you might miss something. You never, ever thought you'd ever be part of it. But here we are, and what a buzz. I wouldn't trade all those trips to Rochdale, Bury or Halifax for anything.